The Gravity Group is a well-known wooden roller coaster manufacturer that was founded in 2002. They are most well-known for building coasters like the Voyage at Holiday World, Hades 360 at Mount Olympus, and Ravine Flyer 2 at Waldemere. With major players like GCI in the wooden coaster industry, I think that Gravity Group will have to innovate more than ever to compete with these manufacturers. Hello, I'm Zero G Coasters. I create weekly roller coaster and amusement park videos, so if you enjoy that type of content, make sure to subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video in particular, click the like button to push this out to the YouTube algorithm. Now let's hop into the story of Gravity Group. Gravity Group was formed by multiple employees of the defunct manufacturer, Custom Coasters International, or CCI. Because of this, the company knew the keys to making good roller coasters, as they built over 40 at CCI. For their first project, they went big with Hades at Mount Olympus. This coaster was 136 feet tall and went 60 miles an hour. But the defining moment of it was the impressive dive under the parking lot out into an island by the main road. This coaster was a great start to their career. And then they only got better with the voyage. They followed that up with a compact twister coaster, which was Boardwalk Bullet. For the next few years, they continued to build solid to elite wooden coasters. But they have always had competition. From the start, Great Coasters International has been making wooden coasters as well. They started off in 1997 with Wildcat at Hershey Park a coaster with a unique twister layout at the time. They continued to use this formula in their coasters and eventually rose to fame as a consistent coaster manufacturer, but they were not willing to take many risks. Going back to Gravity Group, they introduced the Timberlion trains in 2011, planning to use them on their flagship coaster, the Voyage. Unfortunately, the ride was much slower than expected during testing, so the plane was scrapped and the ride reverted to PTC trains, but this opened up new opportunities for the Gravity Group. Specifically the fact that these trains were able to take inversions. So in 2013, they went back to their original coaster, Hades, and installed a corkscrew onto the island and added timber liner trains to the ride. The reception of the trains were great, and the inversion rode smooth and well. Fast forwarding to now, Gravity Group has made four additional coasters with inversions, and every new coaster since 2013 has had timber liner trains. Since the timber liners, the only real innovation from Gravity Group was their shuttle wooden coaster for compact spaces, while GCI has their Titan Track model and Infinity Flyer trains. Gravity Group has been making family coasters for a while now, but GCI is starting to dip their toes into the market with family thrill coasters, like Zambezi Zinger and Invader. The point I am trying to get across is that everything that Gravity Group can do, their rivals GCI can. They can both do inversions, redragging of old coasters, but GCI with just steel track, and good wooden coasters. They both have different styles, as GCI goes twister mainly and Gravity Group likes out and back coasters, but GCI is starting to experiment more with rides like Mystic Timbers. Also, GCI seems to work with a lot more chains than the Gravity Group. For example, Cedar Fear goes to Gravity Group for only retracks, while they call up GCI for the larger coasters. SeaWorld has received multiple woodies from GCI in the past few years, and more independent parks like Hershey Park prefer GCI. Even though these companies are rivals, I think the two can continue to coexist, as we are likely to see the rise of the Titan track for ground-up models, while Gravity Group can continue to create wooden coasters. That doesn't rule out the point that GCI could lead to the demise of Gravity Group, but I think it's unlikely, as Europe and Asia has a high demand for them, but the next two years will be very key for both of these companies, and hey, maybe Gravity Group can find a new retracking form to compete with GCI and RMC, but I find it very unlikely. Anyways, that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and if you didn't, feel free to dislike as it still brings engagement to the channel. This is Zero G Coaster signing out. Have a great rest of your day, and see ya.